back to priorities. Now that RMRW is over, the Mustang is on the back burner. It's got stuff that it needs, but we'll figure that out later when it's necessary. Right now, I need to get a daily driver back in action. So my Bronco, 1993 Bronco, 5.0 liter uh, V8. This has the E4OD transmission it operates. The problem is a few months back, I was driving down the highway, just cruising 70, whatever. And all of a sudden I noticed the RPMs just rose up. Not like the converter was slipping, like it was in neutral. So it rose up, I was like, whoa, I let off the gas a little bit. It grabbed back in the gear, kept going, fine. Did it again later that day, did it again, a different day just randomly just does it just basically goes in the neutral out of overdrive cruising down the highway so i was kind of scared because my rear end's not in the best shape so if it i was scared that it would go to neutral rev up grab a gear and then blow the teeth off the ring gear so i parked it spent sitting did a little bit of research found uh somebody explaining it exact same thing I'm having. They said it's a neutral safety switch. They said that the, these older Ford neutral safety switches got moisture in the connectors and then they just basically don't know what gear it's in, goes to neutral, whatever it is. So that's what I'm gonna be replacing today. I have a neutral safety switch. I also have some stuff to do the shifter bushings, the shifter arm, all that, because I wanna just get all this, all this stuff done. That way I can eliminate all problems from this thing. And then hopefully, It'll be good again and it'll be back on the road eventually, hopefully soon. Gonna rebuild the rear end. I have everything in the back to rebuild the rear end. So just gotta find the time. Let's get after this deal. Alright, here's our old neutral safety switch. Now <clears throat> all these switches pretty much come with a new connector. So I guess that I think the connector is a problem. And they want you to repin this connector to the new style. So that's definitely not the style that is on the one I just bought. And this thing looks like it's been on here a while. So let's pop this one off and we'll see about repinning this deal. You're gonna wanna get yourself one of these little de-pinner kits because <clears throat> this older neutral safety switch has this style connector and I think the connector is the issue. The new one's got this style. And it comes with a new one, but you have to deep in the old one. Milo, please stop molesting me. And look at this dog. Come on, Milo. Okay. As you can see, I got one out so far. It's kind of a pain in the ass to do. Especially when you're up under here, there's not a lot of slack in this. <clears throat> if I was up on a lift, it would probably be a lot easier. <clears throat> Tyler's got all the lifts tied up because he's king boss man. And there it is. Once you start popping these little pin clips up, the first few you're gonna have to pull pretty hard from the backside to get them out. Once you get them started, they come out pretty easy after that. Now, I took videos of what colors go where in orientation with the center clip here and whatever. So before you take it apart, take pictures and videos of the colors of the wires and where they go so you can put them back the correct way. So now the first thing I'm gonna do is start slipping this. This is the back side of the connector. I'm gonna slip this over the wires. There's the wires. So I'm gonna start slipping this in and then put the little, the new little rubber thing and then push them into the back side of the new connector. Put the red deal in and then put the neutral safety switch on. All right, I got this thing. I got it all back. Hopefully it's correct. So as you can see, fresh connector on there. No cutting, just depinning and repinning that connector. Um, according to the instructions, transmission needs to be in neutral. So I'll put it in neutral, take the old safety switch off. Obviously if it moves uh, on my transmission, turning clockwise all the way to the right is park so you got park reverse neutral as you go left so if it pops into some other gear when you're unscrewing it just put it in neutral go all the way to the right park 
left one, click, reverse, second click, neutral. The safety switch is set. The new one has a little notch that says neutral. So that needs to go on in neutral. Earlier, I looked at the shifter arm and bushing situation. I was taking stuff apart. I didn't end up filming anything else because this is a shifter arm off of Amazon. And Amazon said it would fit my Bronco, but it doesn't fit. This is a single bend in it, and it's too close to the dashboard. My original arm has two bends in it, and it sits further away. So this arm will not work. But after looking at my arm, it's not that bad. So what I realized was the worst part about my deal was these little bushings are bad, which is very common because they're just little thin plastic and they get tore up. So I'm not gonna replace this whole thing. So I'm gonna send this back and I'm gonna send this back. And I ordered a set of just these little bushings with the clamps. So uh, we'll revisit that later. I didn't film anything earlier, so I just wanted to finish this video off by saying that um, if you're ordering this off Amazon, um, I don't know. I looked around on Amazon, couldn't find one with the proper bends in it. And this, I don't think it'll work. I mean, when I didn't really put it in because the pin was too big for this hole. I kind of just set it in, I got the pin in there and then uh, got the pin started and I noticed right away that the shifter was super close to the dashboard so it might work but uh, I'd rather just keep my stock one.